Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today's episode, I want to talk about what happened earlier this week. Uh, this week was uh, the full moon. The oh my god, words. <laughs> this week was the full moon in Scorpio, and so full moons carry a lot of intensity with them. And so I had a lot of things come up Monday and Tuesday in myself, not necessarily in my business. I mean, obviously with it coming up through myself, it did carry over into my business. But I want to cover this because there is such a huge lesson that comes out of this and I think it's really important to cover. So we're going to dive right into it. So Monday, there was a full moon in Scorpio and full moons intensify everything. Full moons intensify emotions and everything that you're feeling and so in addition to the full moon intensifying everything in general I was born during a full moon so within my birth chart anytime there is a full moon any of the feelings or emotions associated with what's going on for the current transits makes the current transit amplified on top of being amplified so it's like doubly amplified So Monday was the full moon in Scorpio and I have this group. I love this group. They're great women. I'm part of this group and I went to go check in after having watched a couple of videos that one of the women had posted about God. And I have no problem with anybody who has a religion or anybody who has a belief or belongs to some certain faith. Whatever you want to believe is your choice. I grew up in such a way where I was not baptized. We didn't go to church. I didn't regularly practice spirituality or faith. And when I decided to go to private high school, I decided, like, I chose that because. I was having a really hard time with my social environment in the public high school that I was in. So I decided to go to the private high school. It just so happened to be a Catholic high school. So I had to learn about theology. I had to go to first Friday mass. I had to go to liturgy, Christmas mass, you name it. I had to go to those things because it was required as part of the Catholic high school curriculum. And so in terms of religion, I, I view it with a very open mind. You are entitled to whatever it is that you choose to believe. And if you believe in that wholeheartedly, great. I'm happy for you. I have a little bit more of a different stance on things because when I look at religion, I have a lot of other stories that are tied in with it. And a lot of the stories that are tied in with it have to do with a particular family member who has passed by now. And... It's hard for me because of how I associate her. So I associate her with religion. And so she, like in my brain, she equals religion. And that's not necessarily true, right? But it scares me. It makes me afraid because I don't want to turn into her. And that's not how this is and at any level. And it really took like unraveling this on Monday for me to be able to get to this point today that I could talk about it like this. Just because she believed and had faith in a certain way and she practiced in a certain way does not mean that I am going to practice in that way. I am a totally different person. And ultimately, at the end of the day, the way that she practices is a reflection and an amplification of her as a person. And if I were to choose to go and become part of a religion or part of some faith, then it would be an amplification of me as a person. Now, the one thing that I also consider in terms of religion is when you're putting your faith in something external to you. So I'm, I'm putting like for, I'm just going to stick with Catholicism because it's the easiest one for me to reference right now. If I'm putting my faith into God, God is outside of me, but at the same time, God is inside of me. So there really is no cohesiveness in my brain. At the end of the day, God is a concept, is a being outside of me, outside of me. And the only thing that makes God a part of me in the the Catholic faith is that I take Holy Communion. I got baptized and I could take Holy Communion. 
Now, because I am not baptized and because I cannot take Holy Communion, God exists external to me. That is just how it is. I have to choose to make God a part of me. And I could see that now after having said it out loud. That's how you become, that's how God would become internal to you. However, I, I have this tendency to take faith and spirituality at a level of something that's cultivated within me because my belief is cultivated within me. My belief doesn't come from God. I have to choose with my free will what it is that I am going to cultivate and how I'm going to go cultivate it and who I'm going to cultivate it with and why I'm going to cultivate it, right? So that's something that's internal to me. That's something that is within me and it's not coming from something outside of me and it's not coming from putting my belief in something outside of me. So it's this interesting dichotomy. It's this interesting duality that I started to really unravel at the beginning of this week with the full moon in Scorpio because it really jiggered up a lot in terms of, for me, inner work, self-identity, self-transformation, um, spirituality, you name it, it just shook up the, <laughs> shook up the works. So it, it was this really huge thing to have happened. And it's been teaching me some very invaluable lessons. The first being openness and understanding. There was definitely something that happened within the week that was like, oh, well, you know, it was a very defensive comment in terms of how to go about religion and faith. And this is why with these types of episodes, like, am I walking on eggshells a little bit? Yeah. But I'm also recounting a story. It's purely because religion is a really hard topic. It is a very delicate topic. And there are three things that I was taught you never talk about religion, abortion, and politics. And when this happened on Monday around the Scorpio full moon, I, I really, it's a story that I'm like working through. I'm still figuring out how to get out of that association with that family member. And that's, that's really ultimately wanted what I wanted to bring to this episode, but it's still teaching me these invaluable lessons of like, be careful how you communicate even too, because when you communicate, oftentimes people, I think I did an episode on this, people aren't aware of like the mode of communication per se, and they're listening to your words and your words are like 7% of your communication. Your body language is actually like 55 to 58% of what you're communicating and you want to you want to be open with these types of con- with these types of topics and content because it is such a delicate topic and so it's something that i'm also realizing like be like approach your communication delicately and it, it wasn't even something in terms of like what happened with the school the full moon in scorpio and like religion like there was another occurrence that happened later on in the week where you know, I was going back and forth with a client and eventually that client started to get a little nasty. And instead of me continuing to go back and forth and saying, this is exactly what you wanted. Why are you angry with me? I just said, you know what? Let go, Fallon. Just let go. And that'll play in with the next episode, but just let it go. Just let it go. You know what? Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to move you to whenever. Done. Just let it go. I'm not going to fight you, right? Which leads me to the next lesson here and potentially even the next episode. I might do the next episode on this. Detachment, 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 detachment. Probably the lesson of my life, especially because I went through a Q&A yesterday on an astrology call and well, 
my Jupiter is in my uh, 12th house, which has a lot to do with the lesson of detachment. So detachment, let it go. That, that inner feeling came up, that story came up. Okay, I see it. I recognize it. I'm going to give it the due diligence that it is looking for. But I'm going to let it go because it's not serving me. Where is it getting me? Not where I want to go. So these things, while they were crazy, and I mean absolutely nuts while I was going through them, I see now, by the time of recording, how essential they actually were. So I wanted to share this with you because it's really important to me that these inner things are brought up and they're talked about. And we work through these things instead of working against them. It's kind of like the river analogy, right? What's the best way to go? What's the best way to travel a river downstream? Go with the flow, right? Not fight it. Stop fighting it. Avoid fighting it. Better words. So I want to thank you for tuning into today's episode. I want to thank you for following along. I want to hear what your takeaways were. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Did you feel some really crazy emotions come up through the Scorpio full moon this past Monday, Tuesday? Maybe if you're listening to this well into the future, you probably won't remember April 22nd, 2024. But if you do, let me know if you remember any crazy emotions that were going on during that time. And I want to encourage you to follow along and subscribe for more awesomeness. I'm probably going to be incorporating some really fun things moving forward. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Thanks for listening and we will talk soon.